Some of the types of drugs that NCRT prescribes are ophoids, cannabinoids, coca alloids that can also be called as cocaine, hallucinogens, barbiturates, amphetamines, benzodiazepines, tobacco and alcohol. Out of these, I am going to broadly take in uh, four bigger categories of drugs which we categorize as psychotropic drugs, opiate or ophoid dr narcotics or drugs, then you have the stimulants and psychedelic drugs. Now, uh, psychotropic drugs are broadly classified under two names that is tranquilizers and sedative. Basically, uh, these tranquilizers such as phenothazines and benzodiazepines are basically given to soothe, to reduce uh, the anxiety which has been created in us. So, we can say a uh, sensation of calm feeling uh, is felt in this case. So, you are not very uh, hyper, you are not excited, you are just calm and composed. In certain cases, what happens? The calmness uh, goes to such an extent that you start feeling sleepy. Any drug which makes you feel sleepy, we call it as sedative. So, you kind of uh, completely calm down and you want to sleep. So you feel drowsy. And uh, in certain cases, it starts making you feel hallucinogenic. Uh, so, then you start uh, imagining various, uh, various things in your mind. The next type of drug that we are going to discuss is opiate or opioid narcotics. These are uh, say subclassified into opium, morphine, codeine, heroin, smack and methadone. Opium is discussed uh, in greater detail in your textbook. Uh, opium is extracted from a plant called as poppy. Uh, biological name is papaver, somniferum. Now, this comes as a one marker question uh, in your PU, so it is important. Now, these uh, opium, morphine, codeine, heroin, smack and methadone are mainly painkillers. Okay. Uh, they relieve the pain, they bring down the pain, so I could say it as painkiller or I could also tell it as analgesic. Okay. Uh, some of these have been used for um, surgery purpose or someone who has met with an accident and is in very severe pain, we tend to give them morphine. And morphine does not bring any kind of hallucination or any kind of sedation. Uh, it's just the painkiller and completely uh, soothifies the pain. On the other hand, uh, codeine is also a painkiller which is given in small amount of pain and not too much of um, like you know uh, excessive pain. No, in such pains we can't give calm little bit mild pains are the ones which they are giving. Now, the next type we are discussing is heroin and smack. Uh, these two heroin and smack are uh, being taken from the latex of poppy plant. As I told, opioid narcotics are all taken from papaver somniferum and these are taken um, and these are also again the painkillers. As I told, opioid is painkiller. These basically work on gastrointestinal tract. So, this is the site of its function. Along with painkiller, uh, these also work as depressant just like how we had the psychotropic drugs. So, they are also simultaneously depressant functions. Exactly opposite to that is a stimulant. Stimulant something which makes you high. So, caffeine, cocaine, crack and amphetamines are some of them which is used as stimulants. Now, say for example, each of them if you are just uh, taking, uh, what is its basic functions if you ask me? Increase in blood pressure, as I told, they are stimulating it. Uh, increase in BMR, basal, basal metabolic rate is being increased. It increases the appetite. It also uh, helps in weight loss mechanisms. Now, um, <coughs> sorry decreases the appetite and hence it helps us in weight loss mechanism. So, what basically uh, is the most important part here I can see is the cocaine part. Uh, cocaine is ex extracted from a plant called as erythroxylin 
coca again this is another one marker question so the plant extracted uh, uh, cocaine is extracted from the plant erythroxylum coca now what is the reason of these stimulants being taken as drugs uh, surely as i told you it is a weight loss mechanism many uh, people who wishes to lose their weight and uh, want to eat lesser they take these food but other than that they make you feel uh, euphoric uh, it's more like you can start flying you feel like that you can start flying or uh, you can uh, uh, you feel like you know you can uh, jump from the terrace and still nothing happens to your body that kind of hallucination uh, if euphoria feeling is there okay so these should not be taken because hallucination can uh, really be uh, troublesome uh, because you start uh, imagining things which is impossible the last category is called as psychedelic drugs we have lsds cannabinoids datura and belladonna that is atropa belladonna under these main categories these are direct hallucinations uh, it causes in most other drugs only in higher doses causes hallucination in this even in a small dose it causes a severe hallucination so this amount of hallucination uh, can be uh, synthesized only from a, a product like of fungi so generally what they do is clavicep is a fungi clavicep and uh, from this clavicep the fruiting body what you have in the clavicep is being extracted and from there we get these lsd kind of uh, stuffs other than this lsd here which is uh, lysergic acid diethylamide we have the most important thing is cannabinoids cannabinoids again another one marker question children here uh, cannabinoids is extracted from cannabis sativa plant so which part of this plant is being used the inflorescence is being used here so that is cannabis uh, sativa another one marker question cannabinoids are used and all of these causes hallucination so you start feeling like you know okay fine you're uh, all in the seventh world and you nothing can happen to you that feeling appears so these are certain types of drugs what we have discussed